The other day, I was invited by Secretary Harry Roque uh, to go on his show, uh, which is uh, one of these public service shows that he does uh, on weekly. And uh, by coincidence, the this show was shot or taped in Malacanang Palace. So uh, he was doing another interview. So in the meantime, I was able to walk around and uh, look what uh, the old palace looks like now. Like the palace has always been. It's been, many of the rooms have been repurposed. It's no longer used in the same way. But then it's always been that way. Uh, the rooms always changed their functions uh, as time went on and according to need and according to availability. But it was, um, it was, uh, it, it touches you in a certain spot because this is where you, you spent your childhood. And the little corners all have memories too. Uh, every little place means something because this happened there. I, I, I fell over there. This is where I, I, I fought with my sister. Uh, this is where we made up. And that, that sort of thing. It, it, it's nice to, to, to bring back those childhood memories when time when life was so, so simple and so straightforward. Aimee and I would have this really drag out uh, you know screaming matches and then eventually actual fights we would run after each other with with with, with intent to, to harm <laughs> we had the classic fight the only thing we used to really really fight about was books when one of us had a nice book what would happen is that we say okay when you're finished with it i'll have it I'll, i want to read it but of course the person who's waiting cannot wait any longer they'll steal it so the other one will fight and uh, that's a, just that the whole household will explode, but uh, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> uh, I remember once my mother was singing and we had guests and they were saying, my gosh, uh, Madame First Lady, you're such a romantic, not like your husband. And my, my father was sort of taken aback and said, no, no, quite the contrary. If there is no romance, there is no courage. And that's the way he thought. It, 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 the soft side was what motivated him to do all of these hard things. And the, the, of course, when it's work, it's the hard things, the tough things that he had to do. And that's what people see. But that derives or that, that the, 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 the root of that, of the passion of the determination to do something good comes from love. I mean, it comes from dedication, it comes from sense of duty and, and, and nationalism. What we hear right now, especially with the, the dominant voices right now we're in, in opposition to him, uh, is, is more of a a caricature of somebody that they would like for people to believe. I knew the man. He was the president, but he was also my father. And he really was my friend. First of all, the portrayal of him by, by his opposition, especially the demonization of my dad, uh, well, I don't, that's just, you know, if you knew him and you see, you've seen what, the way he works and the way, the things he does and the things that he worries about, uh, it, it just doesn't, uh, doesn't, doesn't have any, any connection to what, what he really was as a man. That's why it's, it's easy for, for us to, to just, you know, look at these detractors and say, yeah, I, I guess that's what you want us to believe, but that's simply not the case.
this uh, idea or this uh, feeling or, or this, uh, shall we say, opinion I have of, of my father, of the man, has just been strengthened as time goes on. You'd think what, when you grow up, you say, well, I was a kid, I was a guru, I didn't understand what was really going on. But the more, the more, uh, the, the more I see, the more I learn, the, the, more, the wiser, hopefully, I'm getting. I can see that that's really the way he was. That's really the person he was and that uh, he meant it. This wasn't propaganda for him. The things that he said were not, he, he meant it. That was really what he was trying to do. There's propaganda and there's the truth. Marami tayong kasabihan, bilogong mundo, the pendulum will always swing back, all of these things. But I think it really derives from the fact that, you know, whereas other people will say that this is what we, we believe, this is what we would like to do, they haven't really backed it up. Whereas when he said, I'm going to build a nation, he did. He built the nation. He did all of these things that even it never mind the systems or the the the, the political thinking that he tried to he tried to espouse and to, to to endorse and to put into our into our system. Beyond that, just the physical evidence of all the work that he did to build this country up, he has that. Nobody else does, and that's why it serves to. Uh, Look at it in a, as objectively as possible and recognize there's propaganda in all political rhetoric. I mean, that's just part of it. Uh, so we try to get beyond that and try to see what actually happened. Uh, we, we, we are still in a situation where there are very, very, very many people who were around in the time of my father's administration. And ask them, ask them, what was it like? How what how how were you treated? Uh, what did you what 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 was? What, did life improve? Did it get worse? Did, did did people care? Did they not care? I always say, don't listen to me. I'm his son. Of course, I'll defend him. Of course, I'll say he, he did the right thing. But look at the record. Look at actual. If you cannot if you cannot uh, um, if you cannot go through all the rhetoric, all the opinion, all of the uh, academic analyses. Just look at the record in quantitative terms. Uh, what did he actually do? How did life improve? What were things that, how many schools did he build? How many institutions did he, did he, did he strengthen? Um, the, the, all of those things. I mean, uh, it, it, there, are, there are objective tests to the success of a government, of an administration. Use those objective tests. I encourage them. Use those objective tests on his administration and we'll see where, how, how he does. And I think he, he, will, he will account for himself uh, very, very well. The saying, uh, the quotation keeps coming back to me. You can fool some of the people all of the time and all of the people some of the time, but you cannot fool all of the people all of the time. And that's where we are. We know, we know that eventually once, once the <clears throat> dominant uh, uh, partisan politics has been slowly uh, sh shown for what it is by President Duterte. Uh, so they, they, they no longer have the, the, the monopoly on, on the narrative. And it, it, we are now, everyone else is allowed to say uh, what they truly believe, what they, what they experience and what they think. Since uh, my father's time is the first person to say, like the child in the story, the emperor has no clothes. It was my father's fervent wish that when he came to the end of his days that he be buried in a simple soldier's ceremony. We have waited 27 years to fulfill that wish that he left us with. We thank President Rodrigo Duterte for his recognition of my father's service to the nation. Before we start, before we, especially on a big national campaign, you take surveys and you try and find out what's the, uh, uh, what, uh, where am I strong, where am I weak, what, what issues are important, that sort of thing. That's the usual sort of thing. Um, and there was a, there's a, they're saying that, you know, if don't take such a hard line 
about your dad and you know just stay away from your dad and just you know because that that uh, that immediately brings you into other territory where there's a built-in opposition and the number was uh, yeah that you would easily get 30 percent then i said i can't i simply can't do that i said why because if you if i if i sort of denied him it's denying me because i'm i'm a product of him I just don't see how it could be done. I mean, to, to pretend, no, no, I'm not part of any of Of course, I'm part of that. I'm his son. I'm the same name. I'm running on the same policies, on the same issues. I'm, I, 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 my public life is, 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 is being um, directed and motivated by him. So it's just not, it's just not doable. I mean, what, what am I going to do? Walk, run around pretending I'm somebody that I'm not? Uh, that, that, that's a... Uh, that, that would be the height of falsehood, and I don't want to indulge in that. Because Bale, both parents are very active in politics. Do you think that is what has led you to go into this kind of life? Oh, in, uh, hindi mo maiwasan. There is no, no way, the, the only way you can uh, explain um, I have having entered politics is definitely because of uh, how my father really uh, that he he even said it in his uh, when he was still alive uh, that that uh, he would say I have committed not only myself to the work that I have done I have not committed only my person but my wife and my family too and uh, the time will come when you will find that you have no choice. Uh, not not to enter politics, but perhaps in the positions, in the the kind of causes that we would champion. So, matagal na talagang na alam na namin na kahit papano yung ginawa ng aming ama will uh, affect us for for the rest of our lives, so, in whatever fashion. So, and it, it's turning out to be true because how can something that that dominant uh, be, be suddenly just just go away? So, kahit na ngayon ilang taon nito, we're still feeling the effects of. Uh, what my father, what my father did, and I have no doubt uh, to the day I die, I will be feeling those effects. I try to think sometimes. I do. I, I do think of this, and I say, "What did my dad, you know, if he was there, looking down? What's he saying?" I think he'd be laughing, <laughs> honestly. Yes. And I, parang I sometimes, you know, when it's going, through, when things are tough, and it's like, oh God, how do I do this? What am I going to do? You know, I can almost, I can almost hear his what? Oh, mahirap ano? <laughs> mahirap ano? Sige, kaya mo yan, pero mahirap ano? And I, I can, I can almost hear him saying that. So I think that would be his attitude. He, he, he has confidence that you can do it, but he's sort of entertained. You know, he didn't think it was going to be this hard, did you? <laughs>